Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The asset store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video, let's check out some of the highlights that were released in August 2021. This is the list of paid assets and effects. I've already made two videos covering the best free new assets and the best tools and systems. Go watch those if you haven't seen them. Let me know which ones of these you're most interested in, and I might do a detailed review on it. As always, there's links to the assets in the description, and as a bonus, you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. And by the way, check out my own assets on the store. So far I've made the free key door system, which is a super simple way to add keys and doors to your game, and the mouse cursor system pro, which is a very easy to use tool to help you create custom animated cursors to really make your game stand out. Alright, so starting off with a really awesome animation pack, the fighter pack. Very stylish animations, they look really awesome. It includes tons of very powerful punches and kicks, do some uppercuts and some interesting skills. This one is also made to work with the other animation pack by this same developer with the katana animations. So if you pick up both of them, you can make a really nice combat game swapping between katana and melee. Next up, if you want some bows and crossbows, check out this pack. Now this one is actually an extended pack of another asset that I covered in the free assets video. So you can start off by grabbing those ones and then see if they match your project. And then if you need some more, check out this one. If you want some weird particle effects, check out this shapes pack. Really very unique effects, very weird. It could fit with a sci-fi cyberpunk theme, or maybe some fantasy. I could see this being great for some sort of abstract power-ups for your player, or maybe use one of these as currency. Then if you want a nice level, here is a really cool bunker. Contains over 160 meshes, lots of bunker structures, a bunch of items and props. All of them really high quality textures, up to 2k. If you have a bunker game idea, something like Fallout Shelter, then just import this pack and start working. Or maybe you're working on some sci-fi idea. If you need to make some spaceships, then check out this spaceship creator. It's all modular with 18 different sets, includes 300 pre-made spaceship examples, along with 10 colors for each of them. So if you have a sci-fi idea, then this pack is pretty much all you need to build all of your spaceships. Does your game have some water? If so, then of course you need a water shader, but also a underwater shader. You don't want the underwater part to look exactly the same as above, so for that, check out this asset. Looks great, makes the whole thing have a tint, have some distortion, some fog like you expect, works with dynamic lighting, the skybox and ambient color, and it also includes a shader subgraph so you can add the effect onto your own custom shaders. If you need some realistic characters, check out this pack. It's themed towards a survival game. As usual, it's all modular, so you can make near infinite variations, lots of clothing, backpacks, weapons, both for male and female, and it also includes more targets for various face expressions. Next up, if you need some stylized textures, check out this pack. Contains 70 textures in a really nice painted style. You've got grass, sand, lava, ice, and so on. It includes the base map, but then also ambient occlusion, height normal, and roughness, so the materials look really great. Then a really interesting asset, this human anatomy model. I guess this is more for education rather than using a game, but it looks great. It's a male model with a bunch of anatomically correct layers. So it's got the skeleton, then on top of it it's got the nervous system, circulation, digestive, respiratory, muscles, and a skin on top. Definitely a very interesting, very unique asset. This developer also has a bunch of other anatomy assets, so one with a pregnant woman, a brain, lungs, and so on. So if for some reason that's what you're looking for, then check this one out. On the other hand, if you're working on a realistic apocalypse game, then check out this great looking environment. It's great if you're building something sort of in the vein of The Last of Us. Or maybe turn up the fog and make a really scary horror game, something like Silent Hill. It's set up to work with both URP and HDRP. Or maybe you need some low poly characters, check out this fantasy humans pack. Very modular, you can customize just about anything. Change the equipment, but also the skin color, hair, eyes, and eyebrows. Very customizable. For an interesting effect, here is a fat thin shader. You take your models and expand or contract their mesh size while keeping the same body shape. You can combine this effect with some modular pack like the previous one to get even more variety. So enable the players to customize the actual weight of your character. Or maybe just use this as kind of like that effect in the Blade movie, where the enemies simply expand until they pop. If you'd like to make something like Roller Coast Tycoon, then this pack is just for you. Features various amusement rides, like a Ferris wheel, pirate ship, and roller coaster. All pieces are separate meshes, so you can easily animate everything. Also includes tons of shops and buildings to populate your park, and it even includes some base characters. So if you have a Roller Coaster Tycoon game idea, then this is great. For a darker theme, check out this UI pack. 
It's called Horror, but I could see this being used just for survival games as well. Features over 1500 files, tons of icons for just about anything, lots of buttons, sliders, input fields, scroll bars and so on. Personally, I quite like this design. If you need some more awesome animations, then check out this Rogue Finisher anime set. Really awesome animations, very impactful. This one is all about being a rogue, so it's based on some very fast dagger animations. Contains 30 animations with both the attacker and the victim. So combine this pack with a normal dagger animation pack and add some awesome finishing moves onto your game. Maybe you need some icons, here's a great pack. Includes everything you could possibly need for a survival game. So it's got weapons, tools, food, materials and tons more. They are all in 512 by 512 so it's a pretty good size. And up next, here's some really nice cartoony props. I really like the style on this one. Very colorful, very good looking objects. Features all kinds of weapons, tools and even a bunch of props. On the other hand, if you want something hyper realistic, check out this one. Lots of vehicles. All of them very realistic, very high end models. You've got tanks, planes, helicopters, APCs and even the hangar itself. Or maybe you're working on a pixel art game, check out these characters. Includes four unique characters with a bunch of animations. Also has a color swap shader so you can make endless variations. And for a different style, here is a home living pack. This one could be great for a sort of sims like game or some adventure game idea. Quite a lot of props, almost 300 prefabs. Features four female and four male characters in an interesting style. All of them fully textured, rigged and animated. Alright, so those are my top 20 new assets on the Unity Asset Store for 2021. There's links to all in the description, and as a bonus, you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. Check out the full playlist to see some more lists with both free and paid assets, and let me know if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. Also, check out my own free and paid assets on the store. Alright, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.